Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. We're reading for the third week of uh, October. I don't put dates, guys, because energy is fluid, time is fluid, and you're going from one situation to the next, and energies don't shift that quickly. We need time, but I do digress. We have a bunch of planets that are going finally direct. Mercury retrograde is going direct October 17th, 18th, right around there, but we have Pluto went direct, and we have... Saturn also went direct. And I think on the 17th, Jupiter is going direct. So the winds of time are shifting, guys. And this is definitely going to affect you because this Pluto retrograde that finally went direct, coupling Mercury retrograde was a big deal for you guys. It was a big doozy for you, Gemini. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about this while I'm uh, putting down your spread. But for you guys, it was in your house of love. And during the Libra season, which they are ruled by the planet of love, uh, Venus, for you guys, it's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. It's uh, It's been up and down, and your emotions have been a little bit out of whack. So it was like as if you couldn't, I don't know, enjoy your love life or have fun or enjoy put, to insert fun into your love life. It was as if it was like taken away from you in a weird kind of way. I, I hope that's making sense to you, but... We'll see. I digress. I'm pulling your cards right now. We're going to see what's going on because you guys had a, a lot of uh, challenging moments recently in your love lives. All right. So let's see what's going on with you. The bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have the four, the four of wands, which talks about a union, a foundation, a marriage, uh, living with somebody, something serious. It's a foundation. Nine of pentacles. Yeah. Single under that card. Nine of two nines. You're going from the 9 to the 10. You're almost there. The wounded warrior, there you are. What I just got done saying, you, the wounded warrior, but you're, you're, you're guarded. You're guarding your emotions. You're guarding your heart chakra. You're not open to vulnerability whatsoever right now. Look at you. Look at you in, in this fetal position, crawled up, thinking about your recent past, what the loss was. But there's two cups behind your butt. You just got to get up. And turn around and see them but this retrograde has forced you to be introspective and it, it kind of felt like it was zapping your soul in a weird kind of way uh it, it felt like you couldn't get out of this funk and this isn't normally like you look at this the devil some of you are either dealing with a capricorn just some kind of level of toxicity or some level of obsession or codependency here Look at this, regarding a relationship or a situationship where you had invested time and energy. Um, all right, so let's begin here at the hermit. So there was a point in time where you just went into hermit mode to reflect on the time and energy you spent on something. You just felt like quite literally you were dealing with the devil. You're like, what the fuck? I'm dealing with the devil. I'm dealing with all this toxic bullshit, codependency. Um, some level of toxicity in your relationship. Then you were commiserating the pain over this. You couldn't, you, you couldn't find your energy or your stamina to go out and have fun, to socialize and be. You couldn't be yourself. And this is kind of why you took an internal time out. And then you became emotionally guarded here. You guarded your shit and you're like, fuck it. I'll be single. I, I do well single. I'm okay being single. But then this is also in your mind. Your foundation your relationship, maybe your marriage or getting married, your situ. Let's see. What's your situation? Your situation. We have the page of swords, the 10 of cups in reverse and nine of swords. The instant message I immediately channeled. And don't tell me, Gemini, you don't know what you're saying. If this isn't you, then it's your person. I got the insta vibe that somebody is stalking somebody here and they're hoping and wishing that they're not having fun or they're not happy it's like you kind of like want to be like poking at the person i'm like well i hope they're not happy and that's the vibe i'm getting because you're up at night you're not happy personally yourself you're up at night with this anxiety this stress you can't sleep and it's based on this lack of emotion that you're not getting from your person one of you is not happy this is the card of duality so it's telling me one of you is not happy and you're checking to see what's going on with this person. And you're hoping that they're not happy either. <laughs> Might not be, but I just know for sheer fact, somebody here is stalking the social media of the other person, just looking to see what they're doing to see if they're happy without you, is what I'm vibing. 
and you're up at night stressing regarding this what's coming towards you the knight of wands you could be dealing with a sagittarius others of you this is somebody coming in riding on their stallion delivering messages of passion hey cutie hey good looking what's up i haven't heard from you in a minute hmm. what you're not aware of what you don't see coming is the queen of pentacles and the four of cups there's something here where you're dealing with you could be dealing with your mom that's kind of or someone's mom or mother figure getting involved in your situation it's not making you happy you're like okay third party bye now thanks for your opinion not necessary bye but aside from that it feels like you've been giving and giving to the situation you've been nurturing and caring and it just you're not happy with what you're receiving in return this could also mean that you're trying to put yourself out there gemini and you're you're not your efforts aren't being rewarded because you're not happy with what's coming your way. Whatever it is in your world of love, you're not happy. You're bored with what you're receiving. It, it's just, it's not fulfilling you. It's making you be like, mm, I have so much to give. Love, respect, nurture, loyalty, honesty, money, all of it. And I'm getting this. That's what's coming towards you. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that is. But I feel like a lot of you are trying to put yourself out there and you're not liking what the return is. So let's see, your advice, King of Cups. This is love in your advice position. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but this is really talking about love. And this is talking about putting those guards down, opening your heart chakra, making yourself emotionally available and vulnerable, Gemini. If this isn't you, then this is your person, and this person loves you. I find it very uh, interesting when I get court cards in your advice position. Because they typically talk to me about actions that either you need to do or receive. So, in your outcome, we have the Seven of Wands. Someone here is very defensive. And standing up for their rights, their beliefs, their turf. And during this, me this Pluto retrograde, I don't know if you heard my video. Please, I'm going to put it in the link uh, at the end of this video for everybody. I really want you guys at least listen to the intro and listen to your horoscope bit. It's time stamped in when I describe Pluto um, in retrograde. It went retrograde back at the end of April and it went direct October 6th. During those months, you guys all were reflecting on your legacy, your output into society, how people perceive you, what you want, what you stand for. And you don't want anything less coming your way. So this is kind of what makes me feel like what you don't see coming, this Queen of Pentacles and this Four of Cups. It makes me feel like that's what you want. You want fucking function. You want stability. You want normality. And you want to go out and have fun and not think about bullshit. And But what's coming your way isn't of your value, isn't of your status. It's just kind of the vibe I'm getting from you, Gemini. So let me see what's going on over here in your situation. What's this page of swords, the ten of cups in reverse, the nine of swords? Yeah, you're up at night, not like th th that one of you isn't happy in your dynamic with somebody. Or you're trying to see if they're happy without you, Gemini. And you really are trying to see if they're happy without you, mostly. Yeah, this is about a, a union. This is about a relationship. This is about somebody that you feel is your soulmate. Newsflash, they feel the same way about you. It's just slowly coming to you. It's coming so fucking slow, you can't see it at all. <laughs> That's the problem. That's why you're trying to figure out this Ten of Cups in reverse. I had a feeling with the, the with the Page of Swords, because these are clarifying these cards. I had a feeling, Gemini, you were trying to figure out if somebody's happy without you, or if they were coming towards you. Because the Ten of Cups, even in the reverse, is still a positive card, because it means you both have feelings for each other. It's just one of you is not aware of it yet. And that's what that Page of Swords is telling me. And because you're not aware of it, you're up at night, you're freaking out. It's there. It's just coming slow as shit. I, th I have a feeling like things are going to change after the retrograde period. So, and there you are at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Taurus. But there's that, this is the pre-Empress to that. So this feels like this is you, your, your value, your worth, your status. You trying to birth something into this world. You're trying to you're trying to put structure so you don't no longer have to think about this or worry about this. You're, look at this. You had a collapse in a foundation, and a lover went um, 
a decision was made over this lover. All right, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands to you? Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What is the Knight of Wands for Gemini? Third week of uh, October for them, 2021. Knight of Wands. Someone's going to come in giving you messages of passion, but you're going to rehash the past with this person. Anything else? You're, you're, you're rehashing something about the past. Nine of Cups, yep. Wish Fulfillment, Ten of Cups, wow. Okay, so somebody's coming in on their stallion to give you messages of passion. This is somebody from your past that you've been very uh, sad over, crying over, somebody you, you're missing. Don't tell me you don't miss them. You miss them. <laughs> My cards don't lie to me. They come back. They could be somebody you're married to or somebody you wanted to marry. Um, but they bring you wish fulfillment when they come in and they give you these messages. They tell you things you want to hear, Gemini. And this is definitely about your foundation as a unit, as marriage, as or getting married or moving in together or doing something like that. I feel like something recently happened with you, Gemini, and another partner, and it's been there's been some friction. Um, yeah, this is definitely talking about a reconciliation. Good news. That's what Three of Cups is. Celebrating. Union. Rekindling. Re ugh, passionate new beginning. Reconciliation, passionate new beginning, restoring balance, patience, healing, tempering whatever problems you had. But there you are, you're guarded as fuck over this emotional new opportunity. And there's the messages that come in after you've healed. And there's the offer. Okay, this is the backstory. So it allows me to see a little insight into your situation. Uh, obviously, if the story doesn't resonate with you guys, it's not for you. Cross watchers, this is a Gemini reading. So for you, cross watchers, unless this is in your natal chart, unless it's your moon or your rising or your Venus, you should be considering that you are the Gemini in this reading and they are you because we read for energies. So if you're dealing with a Gemini cross watcher, this is the dual energies we are reading. You need to flip it. You are the Gemini in this reading. I hope I'm making sense because this is strictly for Gemini. Uh, but if you are dealing and you are connected and you're tethered with a Gemini, then you need to be the Gemini in this read. Or please listen to this video because it's in your needle chart. Guys, please also like, share, and subscribe. I This helps me a great deal. I just want to say thank you for those who have. But this is what helps the channel circulate, unfortunately. This is what throws it into the algorithm. And I'm pretty new to YouTube, so I need all the help I can get. Of course, if you like my content, definitely like, share, and subscribe, all of the above, and comment. I, I, I read all your comments. I really, truly enjoy them. I think you help others heal, too, when you share your stories, because you make people feel like they're not alone. Okay, so what is this Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups? Why is my Gemini here not happy? What is this? Somebody's emotionally shut down. And I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or the person you're dealing with, but somebody here is emotionally guarded. And that is what's stopping this um, emotional new beginning. That is what's not making you happy. But you have a foundation here already built with somebody, Gemini. But look at this. This Nine of Wands and this Ace of Cups, there's an emotional new opportunity to begin here with somebody, but somebody is blocking their feels. Gotta drop that shit. And that's what's not making you happy because you're not hearing it. You don't know how they feel about you. Or if, if this is flip, it could be them. Look at this. Some of you could be dealing um, with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but what I'm vibing is stability. I am vibing stability here. New chapter with stability. Because let me tell you something. This person is your perfect set. Here you are, the Queen of Pentacles. Here is the King of Pentacles. Match. You guys are a perfect set. You just don't realize it yet because you because one of you has blocked your emotions. That's what's coming. This is a tool. This is what Tarot does. It gives you, it doesn't just give you divination. It allows you to see what you can do to mitigate fallout. It's meant to advise you. I hope this is helping and working for you guys. Why is the King of Cups here? This is exactly what I was telling you before. Somebody has to be emotionally available. They have to be emotionally intelligent. They have to be emotionally aware. 
and vulnerable and speak from the heart. We can't just all be up from here. And we can't just all be action. Thank you. Yep. You could be dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, King of Cups. This person definitely has feelings for you. They've been stalking you. They haven't stopped. Uh, Seven of Wands. But somebody here is very, very defensive. And that's what I was talking about, the vulnerability and the avail availability emotionally. Because somebody here is trying to bring in. So you know what that tells me? If somebody's trying to bring you, Gemini, a message of emotion, because that's a cup and that's a messenger, and they're either trying to deliver an apology, a forgive me, or um, let's... Let's let's try this out again. Let's date again. You are meant to allow it to come in. That is what the universe is advising you to do. There are some things you are not aware of. They're not keeping secrets from you. It's just that you don't have all the information available to you. The universe likes to do that to us. Why does the universe do that? One, they like to test us. Two, they like to see what we want because we have free will and choice. That's why I want everybody to go back and look at that mini read that I did for the Pluto retrograde. Pluto in retrograde is the planet, Pluto is the planet of karma. So those last few months, we've all been doing shadow work. We've been all asking ourselves, what's right for us? What no longer serves us? What do we want? So the universe is doing what to the whole collective after this goes direct? The universe is saying, hi, we're doing a check-in. We want to see what you really want here. Do you want to repeat a cycle? Or do you want a new cycle, fresh new beginning with somebody else and something else? So we're going to give you what you want. And the universe realizes what you want. But in order for you to have this, they're telling you, Gemini, you got to open your heart chakra or somebody here does. Someone's got to drop the guard because there's the, the ability here for you to find great structure in your love life. All right. So beautiful. What's the seven of wands in the seven of wands? Just the Seven of Wands and the outcome. Who's defensive? Just the Seven of Wands, please. Remember, these are just weekly readings. They shift and change. They don't stay like this. This is just temporary. This is a one weekly reading. Your outcome is amazing. You might not think so. Somebody, okay, so in your outcome, somebody's very defensive, but it's clarified by the Ace of Swords. So somebody's going to finally speak up and tell the truth about what they feel, what's going on, what they want, because they want to be on the same page with you, Gemini. This could be also you. You could be speaking up because you want to be on the same page with your person. I don't care who's doing what. This is fantastic because you're finally going to be on the same page with each other. But it's clarifying the seven of wands. So when the truth does come out and you do start speaking, someone's like, well, you did this to me. Well, you did that to me. That's not what you want. You're doing this. You're having this communication because you're trying to get to the same page. You're not just trying to sit here and defend your egos, right? You're here to try to get to the same place. This is, yeah, you, one of you was put out in the cold and you're, one person is defending their action, why they put the person out in the cold. And the other person is like, well, you did this to me and you fucking hurt me. <laughs> that, that, you made me review my options. And there's the reconciliation. And that's one of the options on the table. You see her peeking in the box? She's like, which is the right box for me? But I do see you leaning towards this reconciliation because you do feel a very strong connection, a very strong bond. You feel like there's some sort of stability here with this person. So in your outcome for this week, you're having a serious communication about what shit is. But you're going to hash out some serious things. All right, let me see what's going on for you guys. What do you have for Gemini for the week, third week of October? This is good. This looks healthy. Some people don't even have this communication and they just go on their own ways feeling that they all had a missed opportunity. Look at this, the bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Very soon, you're going to have to make a decision. You know what the very soon card means to me? Sometimes I feel like maybe somebody here isn't so sure about the connection or the relationship. If that's you, Gemini, the universe is urging you to decide what you want. Do you want this reconciliation? Do you want this union? Or do you want something new? Because if you don't want this person, they're like, give him back to us. We know somebody else will take him. <laughs> that's what I feel like very soon means. Flirt. You've been so serious. And this is what the retrograde did to you. 
You've been so serious. You've been in such hermit mode. You've been so in your mind. It's time to be light and fluffy again, Gemini. You need to flirt in, energy to, in, in order to make the energy light and fluffy for this person to come forward to talk to you easily. Because if it's so intense and it's so serious, everyone's like, oh, it's kind of like that kid who got in trouble and they don't want to go home and hear it from mom and dad. They just don't want to hear it. It's the same vibe, light and fluffy. Give your relationship a chance. Boom. If there was any card that the universe is advising you, it's saying do this. All right. All right. Moon cards. What you got for uh, my Gemini? Sorry, my nose gets itchy when... If you're new to my channel, my nose gets itchy when your spirit guides like to visit. It's like right on point. It's like... And sometimes you'll see in these videos little weird orbs or feathers flying around in the video. Mm. Your, your spirit guides say hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. It's a time to take action. New moon in Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries, but Aries is the action card. Guess what? I have a strong feeling October 20th, we have full moon in Aries. All these planets going direct. It's like this big force coming behind your back, pushing you forward. And it's going to come. And now when Mercury goes direct and we have the full moon in Aries come October 20th, Aries is about action. It's about go, 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 move, 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 do, do, do. It's going to force you to take action anyway. So right around October 20th, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of action and activity in your world. Uh, nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. This is telling me the, the instant message I got in my mind. There's no point in arguing or fighting. I get you're, you you want to defend yourself and your actions and be defensive. Nothing's really going to come out of it. You want to just get on the same page with somebody. Your last card that flipped out, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Yep. Very soon. You're coming to a conclusion here. Uh, what's at the bottom of the deck? Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. You're also doing well at work, I guess, <laughs> apparently. Um, but this is what I have for you guys. Please leave me your comments, likes, shares, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, Gemini.